thinking about who you are, your beautiful point of view. I was thinking about you and that body, all oh, that yoga gave you. For a pretty slim price of 5,899 ringgit, Lenovo is offering us a flexible B stack with an AMD Ryzen 7 6800HS Creator Edition and an RTX 3050 graphics card. Today we are reviewing the Yoga Slim 7 Pro X to see if it's really cut out for content creation like it claims to be. Let's get flexing. I'm like a bird, I only fly away. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my phone is. B, where's my phone, huh? So Lenovo has been releasing convertible laptops slash tablet hybrids for a while now, especially with their yoga lineup for the past decade. This is in line with the growing integration of touch screens in our daily lives, especially with more and more people using tablets and phones as their uh, main work devices. In 2020, we reviewed the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7, and you can check that out right here. Now we're back with an updated device. This is the Yoga Slim 7 Pro X that's designed more for content creation workflows. I'm curious to see how it holds up, so let's just get straight into it. So this Yoga Slim 7 Pro X is priced at 5,899 ringgit, and it comes with the AMD Ryzen 7 6800HS Creator Edition processor uh, with 8 cores, 16 threads, uh, 16 megabytes of cache, and up to a 4.7 GHz max boost clock. And also we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 with 4 GB of GDR6 VRAM. It also comes with 16 GB of DDR5 RAM that is soldered, so it's not upgradable. Uh, this is quite a bummer because because while 16GB is the minimum recommended configuration for 1080p editing, to edit and output 4K, I wouldn't go below 32GB uh, if you don't want to use proxies. In terms of storage, we get a singular 512GB M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD that is upgradable if you need that extra storage for media files on top of your operating system and your editing apps and that kind of stuff. A 1TB would be ideal, but hey, at least the storage is not soldered. Although this configuration isn't the most powerful thing you can get on the market, uh, it should still perform pretty well in creative workloads that we're gonna check out in our benchmarks later. Uh, also, uh, considering how slim and flexible this laptop is, it could be a plus point for a lot of content creators who like to travel. Anyways, this is the full spec sheet for those of you who are interested in our retail unit. Uh, depending on where you're from and where you get your laptop at, uh, your specs may vary, so make sure that you read everything before you make your purchase. Let's get down to the aesthetics. Now this Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro X comes with a slim all aluminum body in an onyx grey satin finish that gives off almost a fruit brand vibe. I said almost because this laptop is quite a fingerprint magnet so make sure that you get your microfiber hank handy. All the corners and edges are rounded uh, which also harkens back to the design sense of that rocked the uh, tablet world by Storm before the fruit brand decided to bring back straight edges to their design language. In terms of branding, there's a subtle tag design of the Lenovo logo um, right here and also Yoga right here. Um, that's very subtle, nice and minimal. I like it that way anyways. In terms of weight, as you can see, this laptop is really, really light at 1.45 kilograms. In terms of dimensions, it is 328.2 millimeters by 221.4 millimeters, and it's only 15.9 millimeters thick. As you can see, it's really slim. Given the size, weight, and the aesthetic choices with the rounded edges, I must say that this is one of the most comfortable laptops you will ever carry around. Just touch that. It begs to be brought out huh, for your travels, you know? You can work with it, work with it lah, and pretend to be an influenza wherever you go. Next up, let's talk about build quality. Now, the Yoga Slim 7 Pro X is pretty solid for such a slim laptop. The hinge, which prematurely expires most laptops, is actually very well constructed, firm, and smooth. It also allows the laptop to stretch open up to 180 degrees without toppling over, giving you a lot of flexibility uh, with viewing angles, which adds to your comfort during longer editing or uh, work sessions. But that firm hinge, 
which actually highlights one tiny issue that I have with this laptop. See, this laptop slit over here doesn't have a notch which allows you to easily you know open it up with one finger you would actually need to stick your fingernail in here as you can see i didn't cut my fingernail for this particular purpose to like just lift it out a little bit before you can stick your finger in there to open it up with one hand now, this might be a minor annoyance for someone who like me who like to work on the go and you know, I only have one hand available um, sometimes. But yeah, other than that, the build quality is really solid and I really, really like how the laptop allows me to work wherever I go, however I want. So yeah. Now the biggest selling point for most content creation laptops outside of their powerful specs is of course well, the displays. And the Yoga Slim 7 Pro X definitely doesn't disappoint in this regard. It comes with a 14.5 inch IPS panel with a resolution of 3072 by 1920 pixels and an aspect ratio of 16 by 10 for that extra vertical screen real estate, which seems to have become uh, the standard for most content creation laptops these days. For gamers, it also boasts a refresh rate of 120Hz for some casual gaming with that RTX 3050. In terms of color accuracy, Lenovo claims that this laptop can display 100% of sRGB, but here are the results for our very own tests using the X-Rite i1 Display Pro. In terms of display brightness, this laptop is rated to go up to 400 nits, which is pretty decent for most lighting conditions indoors, uh, but it's a little dim for the great outdoors. However, since most content creators uh, prefer to work in darker rooms, that should be okay, I guess. Additionally, this display comes with support for Adobe Vision in terms of HDR for those who like to Netflix and chill. Watching content on this screen is really enjoyable. Colors look vibrant with a good amount of contrast. Other features that you get with this screen is of course the built-in blue light filter and tough eye safe uh, which are there to provide some eye protection especially for us content creators who tend to stare at our screens for long hours. Well, I'm not a test instrument but I can safely say that after about four to five hours of usage with this laptop for every day uh, for a whole week, I didn't notice any eye discomfort, so yay! Now let's talk about the keyboard. The typing experience with this laptop is pretty okay for a standard low profile chiclet keyboard. While the key switches are actually uh, very quiet and smooth, I find the key travel to be a little shorter than I prefer. It also comes with the standard uh, white backlight as you can see, but it's pretty dim. Uh, however, given the choice of the font, uh, which is very legible, you have no issues reading it uh, in whatever lighting conditions, which is great. On the other hand, I quite enjoy this massive trackpad that is also very smooth and responsive. Perhaps I should get more familiar with gestures for editing and ditch the mouse. Not the mouse forever. Anyways, here's a typing test and also a trackpad test, sound test for your reference. With this Yoga Slim 7 Pro X, laptop webcams have finally entered the 21st century. We have a 1080p webcam for those of you guys who like to stream with your content creator laptop. So this is how it looks and sounds like. I was thinking about who you are, your beautiful point of view. I'm thinking about you. Oh yeah, before I forget, this laptop also comes with a dedicated camera shutter switch at the side here to keep them perves out. You're welcome. Next, let's talk about audio. 
The speaker configuration here includes a pair of upward firing speakers on both sides that are tuned by Harman and it comes with Dolby Atmos support. It has a bright sound signature with very clear mids and treble but is very lacking in the bass department. Stereo imaging is also uh, quite decent but the sound stage is uh, pretty narrow. Watching videos uh, such as Netflix and also YouTube on these will be very decent because the mids are clear so you can hear dialogue everything very clearly. But I wouldn't recommend editing on these speakers or uh, gaming or even listening to music. For that, we can always use the headphone jack and also a Bluetooth which are both supported here. Cause darling, there was nothing right When all you seem to do is lie Those days are gone I'm walking tall while you're alone and speaking of Bluetooth, here are all the I.O. options with this laptop. You get two USB Type A's, uh, which are just enough for your peripherals or audio interface, and two USB Type C's that are both capable of power delivery and display output. Pretty adequate uh, for creative workflows. One thing I found missing that would make this laptop even better for content creators is a built-in SD card reader. I mean, built-in SD card readers are often pretty slow, but it's definitely good to have in a pinch, you know what I mean? Battery life is another aspect where this laptop totally surprised me. We managed to get about 12 hours of video playback in 1080p at medium brightness. That means that it should get by just fine throughout the day for normal workloads or even a quick edit on the go. The 70 watt hour battery also supports up to a 100 watt type C power delivery which should charge up the device pretty damn fast. So you don't need to worry too much if you forgot to charge it since you won't be uh, stuck to a socket for uh, too long. Definitely a plus for a laptop that is as portable as this. Now let's take a look at the numbers starting with synthetic benchmarks. Looking at Fire Strike and Time Spy, when it comes to gaming performance, it's clear that that RTX 3050 is the bottleneck here in this pairing with that Ryzen 7 6800HS Creator Edition. Lenovo probably did this to help the Yoga achieve this slim profile and still keep the heat under control. Don't get me wrong, the RTX 3050 is still somewhat capable in AAA gaming, getting us close to 60 FPS in 1080p for both Shadow of Tomb Raider as well as Horizon Zero Dawn at max settings, you could probably still hit 100 FPS by turning down your graphic settings to medium or low. Competitive titles like Valorant would be completely playable though, hitting 260 frames per second in 1080p. Moving on to productivity benchmarks which is more important uh, in my opinion with this laptop. Our Puget Bench results tell us that for CPU intensive workflows, this laptop is definitely impressive. The GPU is decent for lighter stuff but with only 16GB of RAM on this laptop, you won't be editing 4K anyways without using proxies. Cinebench again flexes the power of that Ryzen 7 but remember to switch your laptop's power settings to best performance and flip on extreme performance in Lenovo Vantage to max out your laptop's uh, performance. We also ran V-Ray and Blender which again confirmed that while the CPU is great, if you do heavier GPU accelerated work, going for a slim and light laptop like this is probably not a good idea. Finally, we have thermals and acoustics. Now I have expected this laptop to get either really hot or noisy since it seems like the CPU's performance is barely compromised. While yes, if you run super heavy workloads like our ADA64 stress test, the CPU did hit 99 Celsius, everything else remained relatively cool. The hottest part of the laptop only got up to 43 Celsius which is at best lukewarm. Uh, things of course ran even cooler in lighter workloads like gaming. What was impressive is that even when the Yoga was chugging along with max CPU and GPU loads, it still remained relatively quiet. We get none of that high pitch whining sound which is great. Power efficiency is also pretty good with the Yoga drawing only 112 watts during our ADA64 stress test and a couple of watts lower in gaming. For the most part, you should leave your laptop's power on balanced and cooling on intelligent to get more mileage from that battery. To recap, here are the pros, nerves and cons of this Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro X. I 
give this Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro X a very hashtag cheap buy for content creators on the go. Touch and go, very flexible. 8 out of 10. Like I said, these are not the most powerful specs you're gonna get with this price point, but given the weight, see how light it is. I've been carrying this laptop for the whole freaking video and I barely feel any fatigue in my arms, which is saying a lot because I haven't been hitting the gym these days and I'm plenty weak. If you're somebody who likes to travel and create content on the go, for instance, if you're a vlogger or an influencer, huh, they like to go and travel, make videos on the go, edit photos and stuff like that, then this will be perfect for you because that Ryzen 7 6800HS processor here is definitely no slouch and that RTX 3050 will give you some GPU acceleration for renders and also some effects, uh, especially for 1080p editing. If you want to edit 4K, of course, you're going to have to proxy your uh, video files and stuff like that. Lah. But hey, that screen is also very, very the good, you know? When you travel on the go, you know, at night you cannot sleep, you want to watch some videos, look! The IPS, very the good. Huh. And that's everything I have to say about this laptop. If you want to pick up one of these, feel free to check out the link in the description because that would actually help us out a little bit and it won't cost you extra, but it will give you something extra called karma. Huh? If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like and share. If you have any questions regarding this laptop, then feel free to leave a comment down below. Huh? Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to see more shenanigans from the Mob House crew. Again, my name is Bangsawan Shane from Mob House, and I will see you in the next one. Bangsawan. Sawan.